um, that's using a navigation controller just with um, single views. But what if we wanted to uh, reinstate that table view that I deleted earlier? Well, that's fairly easy as well. We just need to find a table view controller, which is here. Drag it out. Now at the moment, you can see that it's not connected to anything. Our root view is this one here. Okay. So first of all, we need to delete that relationship. So select this uh, circle here and hit the delete button. Now the navigation controller is not connected with anything. Okay, so we can move our table view in here and as we've done before uh, in this section here, control, click and drag and now we want to choose relationship root view controller. Okay, and so now that connection has been made Now what we want to do is we want to associate a table cell with these views. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this uh, relationship. I'm going to delete that button. And we're just going to have two cells in here. So one will transition to this view and the other one, second one, will transition to this view. Now, another change in Xcode 4 is related to table views. So when we looked at table views previously, um, we had to actually go into the, the .m file and um, do some coding. And that coding was related to telling the table view how many sections were in the table, how many rows were in each section, um, and and um, uh, the um, the text in each of the cells, for example. And you can still do that, but Apple has introduced a new type of table view, uh, and that's called the static table view. Um, and uh, the reason that they've they've done that is that for uh, for many applications, once your table view has been created and you have a set number of rows and each of those rows has a title, it doesn't need to be changed. So the user doesn't or isn't allowed to delete rows, add rows. So if that is the case, um, it doesn't need to be changeable. It can be, as it's called, static. Okay, So they've introduced uh, this new static um, type of table view. And all of the options can be done within the storyboard. We don't need to access the underlying code at all. Okay. So by by clicking on this table view here, over in these in the in the inspector, you can see one of the the first option here is about the content. And at the moment, it's dynamic. But if we change that to static, okay, then we can access these cells directly. Okay. So um, we can change the style of the table view. So at the moment it's plain, but we can make it grouped. Um, we can choose the, uh, the lines between each cell. Okay, And if you click on the table view background, you will get some different options as well. And the main one is the number of rows. Okay, so we don't want three; we just want two. But we could have a, a header and a footer. Okay, so that header. Okay, there's your header, and okay, so that just shows you what a header looks like and what a footer looks like. Um, now, how do we access the actual row? Well, if you, you can see here that you can select each row individually, and we need to change the style from custom to basic. 
and you can see there it automatically puts a title in uh, a temporary title in for us but all we need to do is just double click on that and then we can change it so actually we'll change that to second view and third view okay Okay, so that's our second view controller there. Okay, so we'll make uh, yeah. So the second view will associate with this one, which is actually our original view, and this third one will be associated with the second view controller. So then, in order to transition from uh, these cells to these views we can just control click and drag and we want to push of course and it puts in the um, navigation bar for us push now it's it's put the the name of the uh, sure where it's got the, the, those names for actually but we can change those second view and third view actually we should put third view detail so that's what usually what you do when you click on a on a row you go to a to a view that shows more detail about that particular row that you've uh, you've clicked okay let's run that okay so it started with our navigation controller and it's loaded the table as the root view okay and that looks exactly like our view here and if we select that we transition to the second view detail and back third view and we go to the third view detail okay so that's working okay so we'll just make a few minor modifications here we'll give this a title of first view no we won't we'll call it the root view Okay, and we will change the background color of this to be table view background. Because the background of this is the table view background, it just makes the transition look a little better. Okay, so now we've got our root view as the first view. Click so it's taken the name you can see there it's automatically taken the name of the the string that we typed in here and then third view Okay, so how I zoomed out there was I double clicked in the background. And if you double click again, it zooms in. Double click again, it zooms out. You can also do the same down in the bottom right hand corner. There's a minus and a, and a plus button. And what that allows you to do is to give yourself a little bit of room. And this is one of the fundamental advantages of using storyboards is that it allows you to see your entire application in one place okay so you can get a global overview of all of your view controllers and all of your views um, and see how they see how they relate to each other rather than having each of these in four or three separate view controllers um, and it's really good to be able to do that uh, it gives you a global overview of what your application looks like 
Okay, so that's uh, all I wanted to show you today is um, how to use Storyboard, how it differs from what we've previously done with separate XIB files, um, adding a view controller, dragging it out, um, and then adding the adding the .h and the .m file to be associated with a view in order to add code where, when or if we need to add code. Um, how to transition between views using the modal segue. Um, how to change the type of transition. Um, and then finally, how to add a navigation controller and use that inside a a table view and then how to transition to separate views from individual rows in the table okay so that's a really storyboards are a really good way um, of getting a lot done in your application without doing very little coding at all and uh, from now on we will probably be using storyboards all the time okay so um, I'll see you next time